falando, eu sou Ah, tu! Yes, Lord! She don't want my love, I guess I gotta move on. Hey, oh yeah, oh yeah. What's up, y'all? Y'all watch your Carisha, please, on Revolt, where we keep things real, raw, and uncut. And today we got Kevin Gates. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. What's up? How you feeling? I was nervous till I found out you was an Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, damn, okay, she gonna understand me. Team Aquarius. So you just released your new album. Congratulations. Yes, yes ma'am. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. What you wanna know about it? I wanna know where did the name come from and Kaza. what it means to you. The name Kaza, uh, I'm Muslim. Mm -hmm. The name Kaza, that's my son's name. It means like a great treasure or a gift from God. Okay. And blood, sweat, tears, emotional roller coaster. I cried on a couple of the songs. And it was a collection of songs of really my journey, uh, my path to where I'm at now. Mm -hmm. I'm in a way better place than I was. And I didn't know this, but just my journey to the world has been healing to so many other people mm -hmm. because I don't hold anything back. I'm transparent. You watch me go from the lows to the highs, the good, the bad, the ugly. It's not all glamour and glitz over here with Kevin. So I say, which song did you like enjoy making? Enjoy? Mm -hmm. uh, then maybe this just means I'm in love. I'll pray to the creator and the stars up above. Now I'm blessings rain down over us. I was just thinking about the things that that money came by. Yes. Like my children, you know, being able to be on the farm and grow our own food and things of that nature. Like the best things in life are really free. So I'm in pursuit of like intangible wealth, the things that money came by. Yes. Like genuine people. I people, love that. Yeah, that's just me. That's real life. And that's what the people need. We need people like you. So it's been healing. Like I cried a lot. Well, I cry every day. When you, you come up, you taught that as a man, you're not supposed to cry. You got to suck it up and be tough. But if you keep all of these emotions in, you might explode or implode. You right. just might go crazy. Right. But when you release these things, they don't make you like soft right. and things of that nature. That's how we release tears of for healing. It's okay to go somewhere by yourself and cry and get it all out then shake it off and come back. It's okay. It's nothing I'll wrong say, with that. Like that's me. I'm like one of the people that like keep things in until I can't. Like I explode like once I let that emotion out. Cause it's like, I don't like talking about my feelings a lot. I know this is gonna sound weird. I do talk to myself. Like my me time is when I'm working out. I like to work out and it's just about feeling good. I love how I feel afterwards, but I talk about the problems that I'm going through, through my, to myself mm -hmm. and I ask myself questions. And I used to think it was weird till I read that all geniuses talk to themselves. So I do talk to myself, even sometime in the mirror, I'll be talking to myself. I talk, I talk to myself in the shower a lot. <laughs> oh, so you like intelligent conversation. You yeah. talk to somebody who understands. Because I feel like I'm the only person that kind of like understand, understand me. Like I know what I'm trying to get out and what I'm trying yeah, to say. So you're your like, own best friend. Yeah. And that's like, it's going to sound weird, but that's emotionally detoxing. That's healthy for us to do that. Yes. Because if we keep it all boggled inside, I mean, what the fuck? We could just flash out on somebody that ain't even do us nothing, but they did one little thing and then, bitch, you got me, you know, I'm out my mind now, but it's really. <laughs> yes, I, I So it's I, unchecked aggression. Yep, I've been there before. So let's talk about mental health. Mental health? Mm-hmm. Uh, you been in prison. So how did like prison affect your, affect your mental health? Oh, uh, you want me to be honest? Yeah. I never, well, I did say this on the Mike Tyson interview. I was sexually victimized when I was like 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And it led me to exhibiting a lot of violence. I felt like, like I had a fear of being vulnerable. All of my other bids, I would go in there and establish dominance. Mm -hmm. I was operating out of fear. Yeah. It seemed tough just working out every day, being a monster. You know, it seemed tough. Mm -hmm. But Kevin, that's really fear. But this last bid that I went to, this last time I was released in 2018, this was the best thing that ever could have happened to me because it prepared me to receive these blessings that I'm about to receive. Well, I love that. Yeah, it prepared me. I wasn't prepared then. Mm -hmm. With great power come great responsibility. And before this, I wasn't responsible. And even with relationships, I wasn't ready to be in no relationship with nobody 
because I was operating out of fear. Mm -hmm. You're going to hurt me. I ain't going to put my all into it for fear of being hurt. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's a lot of problem with me. And like hurt people, hurt people. Y'all be so afraid of being hurt that y'all end up hurting Y'all be afraid of being hurt too? No. Yes. I don't. So every relationship you go in, hey, let's be honest. My, my mama still a pussy. <laughs> my dad was the only man that she ever loved. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's be honest, you know. Please no. forgive me for saying that. I'm so not sorry. I feel like. So I wouldn't give a fuck if a bitch did a thousand dicks before she met me. If I love you, I love you. I ain't tripping on where your pussy been. Okay. It's for me now. If you're going to give it to me. I feel like you didn't have a card up because y'all feel like y'all don't want to be hurt. That's, so talk, that's, to talk, that's toxic like masculinity. That. I'm going to give it my all because all I can do is all I can do. And guess what? You heard the, I don't know if you listened to the Kaz album the one day, mm -hmm. I cried the whole song. Bitch, you hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you crushed me, bitch. <laughs> look, at, look at the numbers it's doing. That raw emotion. Yeah, because we all not being that Because I was brave. I had a brave heart. I stepped out and loved unconditionally. I don't care about your past. Just tell me, yeah, I've been with like, you know, 20 people. That's it. <laughs> you know, babe, you, you know, you got credentials now because if you ain't slated, we ain't thugging. Okay. Because puss is very prevalent in my life. So I need somebody. To, I'm a queer, so I'm a very sexual person. Yes. Very, because the energy from it. It's the energy. I'm a very sexual person. I ain't to please my partner. So that's like one requirement. And then you say me not, me being guarded. I'm not speaking for all men because I'm me. Okay. I can't speak for the rest of the world. Okay. But I'm not guarded at all. If the energy connects, it connects. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You Aquarius, you can meet somebody in two seconds. You know if you like them or not. Oh, for sure. I can walk in a restaurant and I don't like the energy here. Tip the waiter, I'm leaving. You know, some people, I shake their hands. Some people, don't touch me. Your energy not right. I don't care if you get mad. <laughs> Sue me. Period. So, you spoke about being suicidal. Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, you want to... I, I ain't trying to get you out of the scene. Can you give me your hand? My hand? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Which one? The left or the right? Whichever one you want to give me. Right. I don't want to feel that. Give me right here. You feel it? That nut? Yes. That's a bullet. I put that there. I just ain't stretch. Why? Like, what drove you to that point? I wasn't happy. I ain't want to live no more. That when I was 17. Everybody around me died. All my friends was dying or going mm -hmm. to jail. And I felt cursed. You know, they used to tell me, this this, this happened. You the devil. Mm -hmm. You know? You know, and I started to believe that. Like, I was cursed, I'm fucked up. Everybody that I love just died on me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't happy. So how did you get out of that dark place? Like that, that? I didn't. I didn't get out of that dark place till I started having pacifiers. Mm -hmm. I started going get things to make me happy or doing things to make me happy or looking for my happiness in other people. people. And like this 2022, was it 2020? I had disconnected, I had disabled my Instagram. I had wrote a letter and everything. I'm about to smash myself again because I don't do all that. Hey, uh, y'all, I'm about to kill myself. That, that's horse playing. Yeah. If you're going to do it, do it the gangster way. Go by yourself and let somebody find you stretched all the way out. That's just, you know, I talk to myself. So, in, in the moments, do you ever think about like your family? No, because um, my children and my trust is set up to where my children are going to be straight for the rest of their life. I don't do this for me. I don't find joy in, in material things and everything I earn go over there. Mm -hmm. But in 2020, yeah, I was gonna smush myself, but something happened to where God just intervened and a white dude came up to me in the gym. I had got flat too. I put all my jewelry on, went to the gym, worked out real good, took me a shower with the gym, put all my ice on, I already had my little. White boy walked up to me and said, excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? I said, yeah, what's going on, brother? You know, when you about to do something gangster, you know, you get to, you, just, you know, you get, to talk, you get to talking all proper and try to act <laughs> like you calm and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm about to go catch a body, but this time it's going to be me. You know, so I was like, he was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, what's going on, brother? He was like, man, if it wasn't for your music, he was like, um, uh, your music is the only thing that makes this crazy world make sense. So I'm still kind of like, yeah, you know, the world's a cruel place, brother. Trust me. I know. Mm -hmm. He was like, I noticed you, you deactivated your Instagram and that 
last thing you wrote on Twitter, you were saying, uh, I had wrote something on Twitter. I was like, my friends and family, forget that my teachings. Mm -hmm. I love you all. It's over with. I ain't about to tell you I'm going to do this. You're just going to find me mm -hmm. stretched out. I, that's all that talking and shit. A lot of people just talk good as a bitch. What I utter with my mouth, my actions must prove. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me based on what I say. Judge me based on what I do. Your actions. Yes, ma'am. So then he was like, man, I told him, I say, listen, I'm about to go put myself up right now. I'm about to go push my shit out. He broke down. He said, please don't, brother. If you do that, so many people are going to kill themselves. Right. He said, because you don't know what you mean to this world. But that was Instagram that had me like, damn, when I do something, the world look at me like, shit, it ain't nothing. But another nigga could do everything I'm doing in the world. Praise him, kiss his ass. But you got that from over here because mm -hmm. you're not cut from this type of texture. And I was comparing myself to other people. And it was like, when you make comparisons, it's the killer of all joy. But naturally, as people, we compare. So I was like, you looking at other people, highlight films, they only show you the good parts of their life, and then you looking at your life like, man, right. you fucked up. This shit ain't shit, you know? And it leads to depression. Yeah. So then, you, like, you could be in a competition with other people, that, that just ain't me. So I was like, man, y'all can have this shit. I feel like everybody been in that place in their life before, like where they looking at other people and they comparing their stuff. And I feel like, you know, that was God and that was an angel. Like you here for other people. That a whole to white boy people. walked yeah. up to me and said all that. And I said, you know what? I'm going to stick around for a while. And in them three days, just being out and about, I got to see that man the streets really love me to death. Yeah, it's, it's people that people love, love me you. and need me. Yes. I was, I was, that was a misconception. I went straight to Puerto Rico and just worked out. And just, and just died, right? And just right? healed myself. Yes. I want to take a shot to that. But please. Shot o'clock. This interview is being brought to you by Deleon Tequila, owned by a black man. Goes down smooth. Now back to more, Carisha, please. Just for your fans that's listening, they love you, and they was thinking about, you know, doing suicide, what would you tell them right now? Um... I've been through the worst of the worst. Like the worst of the worst. And no matter what you've been through in your life, no matter what, it's not about what you're going through or what you've been through, it's what you overcame. It's always light at the end of the tunnel. It's always like, to whom much is given, much is required. So without great tests, you'll never have a testimony. So. I'm somebody who suffered and still suffering, but I deal with it in a different way. I work out, I do yoga. I just, I put my depression and negative energy into fitness and I feel better. Like I worked out before I came here. Like I worked out and that made me feel better. I'm in a calm space. I'm gonna work out when I leave. It's just, I love to feel good. I love to stretch, I love to work out. Yeah, I feel like when we are like battling depression, we have to find something that make us feel good. Cause like when I go through depression, I like to dance. Like that's something that make me feel good. Can I tell you something? Yes. You know, dancing prevents cancer. Oh, I when you dancing, that. when you moving around like you moving, mm -hmm. well, moving your back. One of the scariest things for me to do, cause I grew up with that tough guy shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I went and started taking bachata lessons. Mm -hmm. Like bachata, that's like. A, like Spanish dancing, like a lot of like Puerto Rican. Like cha-cha. Kind of like a little bit now. Something like that, it's called bachata. Mm -hmm. So I started taking those lessons mm -hmm. and like you moving your hips around. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the most scariest things for me to do because I'm so used to being a tough guy and stiff all the time. But you know, dancing prevents cancer because any cancer that appears in the body is only an energy blockage. Mm -hmm. So when you move and dance and you moving that energy around, you don't let that energy stay stagnant in one place yeah. to develop in the cancer. We have the ability to heal ourselves. So what does it mean to be Muslim? Um, we submit to one God, to mm -hmm. the creator. That's it. We just don't join partners. Most people, it's a big, it's a big misconception when people say that we don't believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. My Muslim name is Aisa. Jesus Christ, his name is Isa. Um, whenever we say the name of a prophet, we always say, may peace be upon him. Mm -hmm. So I was saying, alayhi salam, I speak like Arabic a little bit. My children speak Arabic also. And 
that's one of the misconceptions that they say we don't believe in Jesus Christ. We do. We believe he was the Messiah. We believe he was born of a virgin birth. We believe all of those things. Um, but when we pray, we prostrate because we believe that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that the true and living God is the creator. So we put our face on the ground. We serve God with our whole body. Even our actions, before we take a sip of water, we say, Bismillah, in the name of God. I mean, not to get off subject, but even before I have sex, I pray. This is, I don't even like the word sex. I say it so people know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But this is spiritual unification. This is sacred. They this call it soul ties. Well, it's a way to break those. I'm not trying to be too spiritual, but it could be somebody that you was with five years ago. But when that cord is still attached to that person, mm -hmm. you're still connected to them, no matter where they are in the world. So you have to break that umbilical cord. It's spiritual. All things are spiritual. The things we say, the energy we feel when we walk in the room. So that's another thing that's like, it's, it's very sacred. Mm -hmm. I just don't give myself to know anybody. If the energy not right, you can't touch me straight up. I done had situations where I done gave myself to the wrong people. And, it's creepy. Just miserable. It wasn't right. You know, you can have sex with somebody and just be drained afterwards. They took energy from you. Or you can have sex with somebody that give you, y'all give each other, y'all recycle the energy with one another. If y'all not recycling the energy, then you with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. It's like I tell, I've been practicing semen retention for the last, I don't know how many years. I don't release no semen. And people tell me like, your skin. But well, you don't? I don't release. My, I ain't to please my partner. After the woman come a million times, I'm done. Really? Yes, ma'am. But this is my life force. So if we set the intention to have a child, then yeah. But most people don't know is when you release your semen, your bone marrow, your hair start thinning, you 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 age. This is our life force. That's this one of the what, best feelings ever, though. This will make what? What, an orgasm? Mm-hmm. You can do it in where it stay inside your body. Once you train yourself, it, it stay in your body. So how do you train yourself for that? Discipline. It heal your central nervous system. Mm -hmm. It heal your brain. You don't have brain fog. And I tell a lot of men, stop watching porn. Because when you watch porn, it'll make you masturbate in the morning. Like say, you just masturbate or you masturbate. That's what you did. You just jacked off and shot your precious semen, your nut just nutted all on the sock. <laughs> you know, you have what you did. But I tell them, when you look at a woman, you're going to look at her objectively and you're giving off creep energy. And women could pick that up. So that's why your skin's so clear? Well, I drink a lot of water. I drink like a gallon of water a day. Mm -hmm. Anything that we put in our body to come through in our face. If I go eat McDonald's french fries right now, my face will break off. Like, that's like people that get chemical pills. They don't know this. You putting chemicals on your beautiful face. Yeah, it's going to peel and it's going to heal because that's what our skin does. It heals. Mm -hmm. It's cool to take like maybe three or four days and just don't eat nothing. Just drink water. Let your digestive system clean itself out so your body could be pure. Your body is your temple. That's like even a woman that never had a vaginal wall cleaning. A woman, a woman not supposed to wear tampons. You know, I pay attention to all this kind of shit. I look, I want to see what a bitch eating everything. <laughs> I, I need to see what you eating. Everything I need to see your habits. Are you healthy? Like for you just even being in my presence. Okay. A lot of them come up like my lifestyle now. It separate the the real from the fake because there's a lot of women that, that came around me and tried to act like you get up at three in the morning and work out, but this shit killing you. You only eat one meal a day. This shit killing you. <laughs> I say one meal a day because your body got three phases. You go through the ingestion phase. Mm -hmm. You go through the digestion phase where your stomach starts tearing all the food up. Then you go through the cleansing phase when you wake up in the morning, your tongue white, high water with lime. That's all you need to start your day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that and I'm gonna let you know how it go. See, right now you just breathtaking. <laughs> you beautiful. See, after you do this, like a real detox, mm -hmm. and you gonna have to get some security. <laughs> For real. You gonna have to get some security with you. Okay, so being Muslim, you can have multiple wives, right? Say we can have four, but one is preferred. Okay, so if you can have... I don't want multiple wives, I just want one. Okay. I don't want that. Why? Because I just want my one. 
I don't want to have multiple wives. I done did that already. That's bullshit. So I wouldn't want multiple wives. I mean, anybody that have multiple women, they look stressed out. Because I know killers that scared to go home and tell a woman they been with another bitch. But the spiritual aspect of that is a woman is psychic. If you been with another woman and you go home and she asks you, babe, where you been fucking? You gonna help me get these sins off you? You gonna say that? Yes, ma'am. Because you already know anyway. You're gonna know. Like women have something called intuition. Yes. It comes from the womb. The so womb true. is governed by the moon. Lunar yes. is governed by the moon. When a woman get her cycles with the moon, when you know that you're dealing with a spiritual being, you can't tell a lie to him. You're gonna only cause damnation on your own soul. She already knows. So if she let me, if she has sex with me after I told her and I didn't tell her the truth, I could offset her pH levels. I ain't give her an STD, but her pH levels off balance because her womb know that I've been with another bitch. We slanging iron and selling dope and shit in the street, <laughs> but we scared to tell our women the truth. You got to tell her the truth so she can heal you and protect you because the one, our women are healers. Yeah, yeah, a real yeah. woman, though, you know, but that's just my philosophy. Nigga think I'm crazy. Man, bitch, you going in there and tell on yourself. Cool. <laughs> Fuck it. That's the truth. I swear that's the truth because I know every time a nigga lying, I be like, man. When a woman have her period, it's not just, I don't like to call it that, but I say it so people know what I'm talking about. It's to call her menses. When she have that, that's not just for her. That's for me. Mm-hmm. She getting all the negative energy in the house and she cleansing. It's a cleansing phase she going through. She holy right now. Right. That's when we put all the good energy into her. Rub her feet, give her baths with the eucalyptus. I ain't about to give you my recipe. I'm a monster though. But you know, we do all of these things so that when she come out of that, it's going to bless the whole house. Like if, if, if something not right in your house, you can feel it. It's right. an uneasy feeling. It's not peaceful. So, man, come on, let me tell you the truth. You can heal. We can get that over with and keep moving. Because I told you the truth. You know, I, lo you I love an honest man. It just makes things so well, easy. That, you the, you're the lie. only one. <laughs> you ought to see the things they say about me on YouTube. I love an honest man because it's like once you tell a lie, you got to keep lying. But once you tell me the truth, you lie. Lies only destroy trust. Yeah. I can't believe you. I was about to. I asked your homeboy, should I just pack my shit and leave? I, I'm, I'm about to go. You want me to help you pack, babe? <laughs> You know what? I just had a conversation about that. It's you want like, me to help you pay? Once you tell the truth and it's like, ain't nothing I can do, I just gotta accept that. Unless I'm really No, really. I ain't gonna say that. You ain't gotta accept it. You ain't just gotta accept it. But at the same time, if we don't want a car, I don't want my woman for us to be separated. I want us to be best friends. Anything we gonna gauge, we gonna gauge in together. Mm -hmm. But we ain't about to destroy no trust. Mm -hmm. If we got a bond, it's our bond. That's like if you bring a bitch. And I bust and I'm busting her up and I'm we busting this hoe up together, me and you. And I go behind your back and fuck that hoe. I'm really down bad, you heard me? Mm -hmm. I'm really wrong. You're wrong. I'm wrong. You I'm dead, dead wrong. ass wrong. Yep. I'm destroying trust. Yep. I, I wasn't supposed to do that. That wasn't no real nigga shit. I did some whole shit. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's just cause we on a lick together. Right. Me and you on a lick. But I look like going against my co-defendant for some for an outsider. I mean, Our shot shouldn't have no say so on what we got going on. Right. If it's like that, but every that's why I'm got that mentality play. though. Like every man don't think like that. A lot of men think they. You keep saying they men, <laughs> like men, the only people that's wrong or something. I, I want a lot of men for that people. I just love how you talk to Bobby. <laughs> I want a lot of men. I see you think with your mind and not with your dick. No, I think with my heart. Okay, yeah, you think with your heart. I like. Yeah, because if I thought with my mind, it's a lot of shit I wouldn't accept. Because a lot of men feel like you know. I got more time. I just want to have fun. I'm just having fun right now. So you, I, feel, I feel like- I believe in one night stands. It could be something that where the energy is just, just dead. And like, <laughs> like, I, like you could just see me, I'm an energy, but I could look at a woman and tell, like I could look at you on Instagram and say, you faking, you ain't really like that. But there's someone I could look, ooh, this bitch a dog slut. This bitch a piss all in my mouth if I tell him for man. <laughs> like this bitch a slut. Like, like that's what, this bitch a dog slut. Like. Like I could spit in his whole mouth and I could, you know, spit all in her face. You know, I, this, she's that. I get that energy from her. Mm -hmm. And then I look and she clean. You could look good, but it's about hygiene. Cause if you freak and I like you, we could try things. Mm -hmm. So now I have had some disappointments. I done had to put my finger down there and put it up under their nose. You wanted me to eat this? <laughs> smell it. You don't smell this? So I done had some disappointments. I ain't gonna oh lie. Oh my God. I you, have. You do that? What? 
Oh my God. Y'all, I tell what y'all God, heard I that. Te- I tell what God loves, the truth. Because some women haven't been trained properly how to clean themselves. They don't know what a vaginal wall cleaning is. They don't know they're not supposed to use tampon. They don't mm-hmm. know that the dead uterus line that gets stuck around their walls and cause <laughs> odor. They don't know that. They don't know soap supposed to go on your pussy. Bitch, when I bathe you, this is the cleanest you're going to ever feel in your life. Okay, you clean out behind your ears, bitch. Your mom ain't teach you how to do this because she was busy working on some shit. I don't know. I hope I'm not being too blunt. I, I love Please that. forgive me. We need... I'm so not sorry. No, that's forgive right. Me. We need more men like you in the world. You keep talking about men like me. <laughs> you keep shooting shots at men. Who did who did hurt you? <laughs> Somebody must have hurt you. Cause you keep on shooting that bitch. And then you making me be your co-conspirator. <laughs> no, cause you speaking the truth. Like you about you. to put me in a Rico act with you. Because you keep saying that and you just looking like I'm agreeing with your <laughs> with your criminal conduct. I'm trying to refrain from criminal conduct. You trying to have me on my back. <laughs> so you be wearing a feather. What does that feather mean? Did I'm about that one you seen I had in my head. Yes. In uh, South Carolina, when I come through there, I'm a chief. Okay. I'm a chief. Um, my On my mama's side of the family, they Indians. Mm-hmm. They Taino Indians. And most people don't know what a Taino Indian is. These are the Indians from Native America, like the Choctaws, the Cherokees, the Apaches, Comanches, everything. Mm-hmm. Like the people that call themselves black now. We were stolen from this land Mm -hmm. and taken to all these different plantations to work. So in Jamaica, all throughout the Caribbean where they had slavery plantations, these Indians, Native American people that kept to their same traditions were labeled Taino Indians Mm -hmm. all through Puerto Rico. And when I say Puerto Rico, that's like the, the, like the, the Spanish name for it, you know, but the name of the island is La Ilancanto, the island of enchantment. So it just got a different thing. The way we look at we look at everything has a spirit, everything has an essence. Even the wind, we call the wind spirit viento. It's just you could feel it, it's different. Mm-hmm. So I was gifted that feather by a chief when I became a chief. And this was at a time when I was really messing up with my life. And they saw something in me and they bestowed even more responsibility upon me. Mm-hmm. So the eagle feather is representation of the bravest, strongest, holiest path that you can take. And it's very strong, but it's also very fragile, mm-hmm. just like life. So you got to be conscious when you got it in your head. I can't just take my shirt off. I got to watch the way I move and keep me present. I can't just be on my phone and it's illegal to have unless you was gifted by a chief. Really? Yeah, you cannot have, these are federally protected birds. You cannot have these feathers unless they were gifted by a tribe, a Native American tribe. And we are native to this land. Uh, this is our mother. This land was here long before us, and she'll be here long after we leave. So we have to respect the earth. We just have to. It just teach you to be, con- it just make me be more conscious of everything around me. It's very sacred to me. You seen my big feathers when I came through that bitch. I know, I was like. No bad spirits could come around my them list. Bad spirit, they had to stand on the wall. We're gonna <laughs> talk to y'all later. I was looking, I was like, I wonder what that feather mean. It, it, it looked real nice. But the, the eagle feather stand for the bravest, strongest, holiest path that you can take. Mm-hmm. And it just keep me conscious to stay on that path when I got it in my head. I pulled it off for special occasions. I was gonna wear it tonight. I was looking for it. But the energy was like, no, don't wear that tonight. Okay. Just don't wear that tonight. I was, so I just tied my little scarf on the back of my head. I said, yeah, oh, Carisha, please, I'm about to show my sway. Period. Because <laughs> I was looking for it. I'm like, okay, you got his scarf. I got to ask about that feather. I'm going to wear it next time for you. Okay. And you bring me back. So. You, on your new show. After okay. this one. This is just a starting point for you. You about to go in the L. So I heard you could start car battery, car batteries with your hands. Like, what's is that really true? Because I want you to start mine outside. Well, it was a story you I made. I ain't up. trying to be funny. <laughs> like when I say that, like that's like people on this earth. You ever saw somebody take a balloon and rub it over their head and they static electricity? Mm-mm. I would buy. I didn't see that. Or if somebody take a balloon and rub it, it'll make their hair stand up. Okay, yeah. You ever touch somebody and shock them? Yeah. Or somebody shocked you? Mm-hmm. Well, that's electromagnetic pulsation. Your body was discharging electricity. Mm-hmm. Our bodies are electric. 
And I didn't do that like I'm no special person. I didn't even want to talk about that shit. Mm -hmm. But I just always been kind of gifted my whole life. Like the people that don't believe me, please don't believe me. Never, I'm a big liar, don't believe me. But it's just a lady was in need. Mm -hmm. And I just did what felt right. I just rubbed my hands together and prayed. And I didn't, it was the power of God, really. I mm -hmm. prayed over her better. That this lady, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, God is amazing. It wasn't me. Anything I do is not without the creator's permission. So I, that's why I don't like to talk about it because it's like I'm taking credit for that. I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. That lady was stranded on the side of the road. I told her, speak nothing of this. I really didn't even want to speak about that, but they kind of pulled it out of me. So it was what it was. But you gifted. Ben, the people around you know what's up. Mm -hmm. like, like, just once you told me certain shit, I was like, off camera, I'm like, yeah, she, she one of them people, she gifted. So we all have gifts. Yeah. Some have different gifts than others. So of course, when you're a gifted person like we are, mm -hmm. the people around are gonna make it harder for us. It's gonna always be harder for us than it's gonna be for people that's not gifted. Right. So. You must want the audience to know this, because I know what's up. I'm in tune. <laughs> I, I really did, because when I saw that video, I was laughing so hard. I was like, did he really start that battery with his hand? God, kill my children. Murder all of them right now, if I'm lying. Kill them all. Punish them. Stretch them out. You're a miracle worker. No, I can't do nothing without God's permission. I just prayed over the battery that it started, because it just hurt me so, so bad to see that lady. I thought about my grandmother being stuck on the side of the road. And if I couldn't have did it like that, I'd have gave her some money and probably try to boost her shit off with the booster cables. I ain't had no booster cable. Mm -hmm. I did what came natural to me, and that's pray. And that's I right. don't have security because I feel like I'm no big tough guy. Mm -hmm. I walk by faith and not by sight. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It never said the weapons wouldn't be formed. Mm -hmm. So I move like this because I pray. I pray before I came here. I pray when I'm working out. I pray. And a lot of people, it sound like something crazy to them. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It works for me. It works for you. I haven't had any problems. God protects me everywhere I go. I'm not perfect. I'm going to make mistakes. But I seek the creator's forgiveness. And I pray. And I'm protected. I feel that. That's just me. There's like you talking to somebody who never had an STD. I pray before I have sex. I pray. Now, I ain't saying everybody just go do that because you still got to have wisdom with the shit you do. I'm just going to pray. <laughs> I'm not saying <laughs> and that. Cause I, just I, gonna I, ain't that because I got some niggas around me that's some, they going to tell you, Gates, I'm trying to, hey, Gates, please keep this wheel in the road because I'm trying to crash this bitch. Mm -hmm. And I had to tell them, hey, listen, I love you, but this is not what we on right now. We keeping it positive this year. Mm -hmm. Positive don't mean pussy, but we keeping <laughs> it positive. So you ready for the smoke? The smoke? The smoke. I don't want no smoke, but I ain't turning nothing down. All right. I ain't turning down no smoke. Okay. I don't want no smoke. So let's get into it then. But I ain't turning nothing down. So did you really fuck your cousin? Duh. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> well, we, why, so I'm saying like, so right now, I just got a question for you. Okay. If me and you meet, uh -huh. you know, and we just, you know, I put it on you. Like, okay. The right way. Okay. Like you, you digmatized now. Okay. So I introduce you to my grandmother and she, baby, who your people is? Like now me and you cutting up now. We ain't playing. We ain't, do you know, we, we really, we thugging. The gates were. We outside. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I, I love to have sex outside. I do. But forgive me. Wait, you love to have sex a, outside? Yes, ma'am. Like where? Like wherever. Like. You for me, I don't care what nobody thinks. Like, okay. This us. Like, like we could leave out the restaurant and go right outside. Okay, so I, I really want to know this. So you know, like rapping is like a persona. That's just something we rap about. Like you real freaky. Like I listen to your music, but like, damn, I need to try that. I need to do that. Like, is you really like that or are you just you just rapping like you that? You Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Like use your energy. The texture in the music. Like Come on, like, use your energy. You know what's happening. You know who like that and who not. Mm -hmm. You know what niggas just be talking. Mm -hmm. I don't, this ain't drug dick. I don't do drugs. Okay. Like, with all due respect, like, I'm in my right mind. Okay. Like, my dick don't even get hard 
Unless I eat a woman ass, then eat her pussy. Ooh. That's just me, though. I ain't talking about that swipe, swipe the credit card shit. I'm talking about I want to stick my whole tongue in this bitch ass. I want to suck her <laughs> ass, hold my mouth, stick my whole tongue, and then I twirl the bitch. Because I like the reaction. <laughs> I like the reaction that my woman give me when I'm pleasing her. I, I'm just, I, get, I get high off pleasing my partner. But back to the cousin shit. So me and you, uh, that was a brief... Uh, what they call it? A commercial. Back from this commercial break. <laughs> okay. Back to the movie. So me and you cutting up, we thugging. I'm talking about nigga pulling your hair, spitting in your ass, putting your hands behind your back, punching that bitch in your kidneys. Oh. You heard me? Yes, Lord. Okay. Now, me and you, now I take you to meet my grandmother. Me and you done been thugging. We hold you. My grandmother, you got to be special to me because you meet my grandma. Uh -huh. You heard me? So my grandma asked you, baby, who your people is? She put me to the side and said, baby, that's your cousin. I ain't about to stop. What? The damage has been done. So how that made you feel? That's your cousin. That's your cousin. I didn't know you my whole life. I just, hey, I just found this out. We already been thugging. And we still good friends to this day. But that's how it is down south. Like, I come from a big family. I mean, just my mama, like, one of her brothers, one of her, one of her um, uncles got 22 kids. One of my grandfather brothers got 22 kids. Just one of them. Uh -huh. It's about 18 of them. Everything double digits. Uh -huh. So we beautiful. We beautiful. Like my, you, my mama, she gorgeous. Drop dead, breathtaking. All her sisters, breathtaking. Mm -hmm. I show you a picture of my mama after this. You can be like, what the fuck? Like she beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like one of the most beautiful women on earth. So like my the, the woman who was my cousin, she just, I didn't know that she was my cousin. But once I found out, shit, I ain't about to stop. Shit, we no. already, we already out you. We yeah. already out you. And then she wasn't no close cousin. She was about <laughs> a, she like my third cousin or something. I don't know. I don't care. Don't care. So not sorry. We'll do it again. I'm, I'm from the South too, and I got like a big ass family. And if I found out, you the fuck one of your cousins? Stop I you. did not. Fuck you just one. don't know they was your cousin. They probably lied. Uh-uh. And if I fuck my cousin, we will re erase all that shit. You don't know that. You don't know. Then, I'm going to be honest with you, like, you you look like us mm -hmm. a little bit. We <laughs> might be related. You playing, you never know. You don't know who you you don't know who you related to out here. You back like I walk around with an almanac talking about who your auntie, great uncle. I don't get no fuck about all that. The energy connected. Okay, then. It I was can... beautiful. Okay. And then back to the outside thing. Like if I'm fishing or somewhere outside uh -huh. and we got that blanket and I got that coconut oil because it's a natural antibacterial and a natural lubricant. Because uh -huh. I like to do things holistically. Holistically means from the earth, not that pharmaceutical shit. Okay. But we outside, I love being outside, nigga. It just make me feel free. We on our land, babe. I'm about to deal with you. The animals do it. God put us here to be like this. We ain't, we wasn't born with clothes on. We were born naked. Clothes make you weak. Uh, Y'all hear that Kevin outside? He like to have sex outside. I do. I like to have, <laughs> I, I have I like to have sex outside. It just make me feel free. Please forgive me. I'm so not sorry. Next question. So you and Drika really broke up. What you mean really broke up? Like y'all not together, like y'all separated. That's my best friend. So <laughs> No matter what, she gonna always be my best friend. Like I love this woman with everything in me. Mm -hmm. Like, like see, a lot of people like to take it and be like, well, cause the Super Gremlin song. When the Super Gremlin came out, I never accused her of cheating on me in that song. If you listen to the song, I never said she cheated on me one time. Mm -hmm. That's my best friend. You said that you lied about something. Like what was it that you lied about? Oh, with the, the Drieger song? Mm -hmm. Because as a protector, if you for me, anything that look fucked up, I'm gonna take the lick for it. I'm gonna shield you from any type of ridicule, anything that could go on in life. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna protect her. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna protect you from negative talk. I'm gonna protect a nigga better not never put their hands on you. I'm gonna send that bitch instantly. I drop my whole bag, I'm ready to do a life sentence. Right now today. Because that's one thing, you gotta protect your family at all costs. Mm -hmm. So you put your hands on, you put in the, if you for me, a nigga put their hands on you, cause mm -hmm. I, hey, y'all gonna give me a sale, really, fuck that. And then, what else I protect you from? I protect you from emotional damage too. I don't want you to be fucked up. Mm -hmm. But I was fucked up. Mm -hmm. I was suffering in silence. 
So I was just giving you what I was going through. I was venting. That ain't just happen all in one rip. I had my career taken from me. When I was at the peak of my career, two phones, I didn't even kick that girl. Mm -hmm. Never made contact with her. Wasn't no damages or nothing. I had to do six months on a charge that only caused you a $400 fine. Mm -hmm. I had to do six months for that. I'm supposed to come home 12.01, bam. I gotta go to Chicago and do 33 months. What you know about having your heart broke like that? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to walk out there. Hey, nah, buddy, huh? Chicago just called for you. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta go to Chicago. Why I'm in prison up there? My brother minds and he get murdered. He get smushed. Mm -hmm. What you know about having your heart broke like that? I could keep going. So I was just constant heartbreaking, heartbreaking, heartbreak after heartbreak. So super general, I spoke on everything. And as far as when you say, are we together? We got children. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter what, like, I'm always beat up for you. You my best friend. Marriage is some bullshit. When you and a person in a union, that's your best friend, y'all going to take care of each other for life no matter what. I'm mm -hmm. going to love this woman forever. Now, people grow together, they grow apart. We may be on two different journeys. It may come back around. It may not. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But at right now, I'm focused on my mission. I got to go to where I'm going. I ain't got time to do nothing else. And she's been very supportive. Like, ain't too many women going to be supportive while a man fix himself and figure himself out. Because if I'm unhappy, I can't make my children happy or my household happy. My household going to be fucked up because my energy always fucked up. Mm -hmm. Women feel everything. Children feel everything. You can put a child around anybody. They're going to let you know if that person good or bad. Just like when people listen, they only listen for certain shit. Oh, oh, you heard what he said? But they just projecting. Mm -hmm. People live by carelessly through what was displayed to them. Oh, they, they, you. That's, that's why it was so much, no, so it was news to everybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. I live life. The internet say whatever they want to. You can't win versus the internet. So what was it that you lied about? Because you said you lied. What, like, what did you lie about? Um, say, uh, say the question one more time. You said that you lied about something in the song. Like you said, I Oh, I, I was being protective. I was protecting. What was you protecting? Like, what was the lie? You want me to be honest? Mm -hmm. I'm still in, I'm still protecting. Okay. Yeah, I'm protecting. Okay. Next question. It ain't that, but would you want me to do that to you? You you would want me to do that to you? What? To, if I had just protected you to go back and undo the protection, I wouldn't do that. Like, I'm a lawyer at the end of the day. So then why you mention it in the song? Like, why you brought it up? I was venting. It's therapeutic. There's okay. a lot of people that go through that same shit every day. And that song was healing for a lot of people. Because celebrities' lives aren't perfect. They mm -hmm. got to see that. Mm -hmm. Celebrities go through everything everybody else go through. And Super General changed the world. It changed the scope and the dynamics yeah, of the Yeah, because when I heard it, I was like, oh, okay. I fuck with that nigga. That nigga, that, 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 nigga, that, that thing. I was like, okay. He a whole brick with the stamp. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. he outside. Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't putting nobody under the bus, but I was venting. Because mm -hmm. people, we suffer. Sometimes men suffer in silence. Mm -hmm. You know, we do. So you said in the song that Trika treated, cheated on you with the trainer. I never said that. You said something about a trainer. We all know that she was supposed to cheat with the trainer. No, that's what you let your mind think that she treated with the trainer. I never said those things. Okay, so clear enough. If you, tell if you tell listen to the song, I said personal trainer invaded my personal place. Be down the side and killed me. Uh -huh. That's all I said. I never said they cheat. I never accused them of anything. Okay. So did she cheat on you? I never said that she cheated. No, I'm asking you if to clear did, it up. If she did, I wouldn't know. But I never oh, okay. said that in the song. Okay. I never said those things. All I said was this person. That, that's like if, if, if I got this, if me and you together, uh -huh. and I got this beautiful woman, you heard me, that this my, I fuck with this woman. Uh -huh. But it's certain things that are supposed to be sacred as far as your household. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And you come and you see that, which... I didn't know how to process that emotion at the time. I could have just really just been like, look, no. But at the same time, you want to give your partner their space to be who they are. Mm -hmm. So I never accused her of cheating on me with the trainer. Mm -hmm. I just said the person the trainer invaded my personal place, be down the side to kill me. Why you felt like that? Because you was taking pictures of my cars and my land. You was being invasive. You were showing things to the world that's really sacred. Mm -hmm. I never promoted vehicles and material things. Mm -hmm. I promoted God and my children. Anybody that know me know this. I had got a Corvette one time for my Father's Day. That Drieger got me, that was the happiest thing on earth to me. 
a little puss ass Corvette, but that's what I always wanted since a kid. Well, I wanted a Camaro, but I got the Camaro. Mm -hmm. Then I wanted a Corvette, and that's, that was beautiful. So it's not like I'm trying to throw nobody under the bus. I'm speaking on behalf of me. Mm -hmm. Like I was dying on the inside, I was suffering. And Super General allowed me to vent, like I'm free now. Like I got everything out, well, not everything, but I got a lot out. It's my life a movie. Okay, so you cheated in the past. And that's another narrative people always go with. You, well, had, you, a whole, did, you had a whole sex tape. You, you did that to her, that, that wasn't me, that was a clone. That was a clone, you ain't seen that nigga on the, that nigga don't look nothing like me. So you that seen was, the sheets and shit that was on, I looked at that man, this, I had, it was so good, I thought it was me, I looked. <laughs> That was a whole clone, but you know, that's the type of shit they do to me. Cause if I get nigga right now, I don't look nothing like that. I got a bedroom by it. That nigga, that was cheesing. No, that wasn't me. So you said you cheated on her and the son Drinker. How do you feel about cheating though? Just in, and you embarrass her, like in general. How do you feel about cheating? Cheating? Mm-hmm. We got a monogamous relationship. Like I agreed to be monogamous yes. with you. And I said, I'll never be with no other woman. Mm -hmm. Shit, I gotta have, I'm gonna have, guess I gotta stand on it then. Now, ever did I come to you and say, I got multiple women and shit like that? Mm -hmm. I came and told you I got multiple women? Yeah. Oh, well, shit, that ain't, how am I cheating? You agreed to the terms. This, we, we, this is a verbal contract. I told you I got multiple women. I ain't cheat on you. Now, if I come to you and say, look, it's just gonna be me and you, and this and this and that, then that's cheating to me, I guess. It's being dishonest. You breaking a verbal contract. So do you there. cheat? Will I cheat? Yeah, do you cheat? Will you cheat? Will or I? have you cheated? Am I happy or unhappy? In both. Yeah, I'm unhappy, so I'm seeking fulfillment somewhere else because I'm not getting it here in this mm -hmm. relationship. Yeah, I'm going to make myself happy, of course. So why not just say I'm unhappy instead of just cheating? I'll tell you, I'm not happy. That's the worst thing you could tell a woman. So why not try to fix it first before you cheat? Fix it how? You gotta figure it out. If you're not happy, then let's figure it out. Fix it how though? I don't, I gotta figure out why you're not happy and then I gotta try to fix it. What if you so caught up in the whatever your life is and doing that you start neglecting me? Or uh, say I'm so caught up in my mission, I start neglecting you. Mm -hmm. That's gonna cause like discord in a relationship. So you cheat? How? Why well, I'm a cheat? I ain't cheat yet. I ain't meet nobody yet. Now, if I meet somebody that's giving me that fulfillment, I'm gonna tell you, but I'm not happy. I'm not. I'm a, we're gonna do a little trial period. I'm gonna see if you're gonna get on your shit, but if you ain't gonna get on your shit, I gotta love me first and I gotta honor me. Mm -hmm. Our first rule is being a Muslim. They wanna, when you're not in compliance, I'm gonna deny you sex anyway. I'm already ain't fucking you no more. I done put you on dick restriction for 90 days. <laughs> I done already put you on dick restriction. You ain't catch on yet? <laughs> All right, bet. I could not. I could All right. not. You gonna, you, gonna make, you gonna make me quit fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't saying that to say this, because the way you the way you projected at me, it sounded like from a woman that's been cheated on before. No, I'm just, I'm just and acting. So you cheat. So you cheat. Yeah, I could only know. Because all, all, all like, men cheat. So I just wanted to know, because you spoke about, you know, cheating before. I don't look at that shit like that. Okay, I like to have fun. I don't look at that shit like that. Like, that, I don't mean, no, like, no, I don't look at that like that. Like, so what, what you look at it like? Like, what are you, it? like, if we together, mm -hmm. like, me and you together, okay, and right you now. do something, mm -hmm. that's just dick. That ain't no relationship. You do something, I ain't tripping on it. Bitch, you for me at the end of the day. You for me. What you did, you did a dick, okay, bitch, that ain't nothing. Now what y'all y'all got y'all 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 romantically involved now y'all doing some more extra shit going on that'll be like what the fuck you, you nah you ain't my you ain't my partner. so if if we was together and I step out and I got fucked like you not tripping on you not gonna tell me is I'm gonna tell you now you ain't gonna show me the video hell no nah, no nah. so I can look at that bitch with you and just my shit just rock up and I bust you up after I watch the video. You just gonna go just just get dick and not tell me? That's not easy. If I come in the house, I just got some puss, I'ma tell you. you but I just point us the little bitch, you hear me? If you my dog, you fuck with me. You my nigga first, my best friend first. Yeah. Are we living under this fake title? 
don't know. I'm just saying though. I'm asking. I'm just I'm just different because my my husband, my man not finna come and tell me that because I'm gonna burn the house down. You gonna kill him in his sleep? What? So I'm gonna wake up and you gonna have that knife on and be like, babe. Talk to me, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, because you're not for the coming Ooh, tell I you. want you right now, babe. Oh, when you stab me, make sure you get me right here in my heart, babe. Stretch me all the way out in this bitch. You know what? You is toxic. Ooh, you have you're to toxic. get out my You're house. fucking toxic. Never come You're back. toxic. Because you think you finna be fucking on me and come back and tell me, yeah, I Ooh. just love this bitch. No. I'm not. It depends on how I met you. If, you. if I met you busting you up and shit, I ain't gonna have the same respect for you as I have for somebody that... Like, I know I can't get another you. Fuck, so yeah. I'm gonna respect you different. Like, I, I done met women, women with kids and everything, but they were so valuable in the knowledge that they could give me because of the things that they've been through, the experience, the mm -hmm. way they treat me, rub my feet, give me baths, things of that nature, to where I'm not about to play with you because I'm not about to fuck this up. Mm -hmm. you, I'm just not. Like, it depends on what type of value you have to me. If you're my place of peace, I'm not gonna fuck it up. Okay. When a man, you say a man cheating, no, he going looking for peace somewhere else because he's not receiving peace where he at. Not true. Okay. So you my peace. And we arguing every night. That's not peaceful. I can be your peace and you still go cheat. You arguing though? We Is we arguing? Can I be myself around you? Yes. And, okay. Watch this. So if it's something you don't agree with, you ever just <sighs> and gave off that fucked up energy? Yeah. I'm going to catch that. Okay. That's, and you guess what? And that's gonna disrupt you. You gonna my respect peace. it. Me? Yeah. I'ma get in compliance. Yeah. Right we... gang wrong nigga. <laughs> right gang wrong nigga. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> so, yes, Lord. <laughs> so do you think that like men and women cheat for different reasons? Yeah. Like okay, so why do you feel women cheat? I don't know. I don't know why they cheat. Because I'm going to tell you why, why I'm going to cheat. Okay, why you going to cheat? <laughs> I'm going to cheat if I'm not, uh, if I'm like unhappy and I'm just like aggravating and it's just. What, what, so what kind of things will aggravate you? What kind of things will aggravate me? I'm just this perfect old bitch ass. Excuse me, I ain't mean to say that. I'm a perfect square from Delaware. No disrespect to nobody from Delaware. <laughs> That's just a figure of speech. I'm a square from Delaware. I'm just doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing in your eyesight. What's gonna make you cheat? Okay, I'm gonna speak. For, I'm gonna speak for me. I'm an Aquarius. So just speak for you. Don't yeah. speak for you. Let's not say I ain't trying to hear about what men because you keep putting me in this category. No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just speaking. Let up. me tell you something. I'm half man, half amazing. It ain't a nigga on this earth that's like me. So you keep saying men. Like, don't get me to speak for men. Okay. I'm gonna speak for me. Okay. These are my feelings. Okay. Another old bitch ass nigga might not have my same philosophy. Yeah, I see. Ain't been I see. Through what I've been through. Cause you said that I could come tell you I just fuck somebody and you go say show me the video. That's dick. What? 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 My, I'm not tripping. See, I'm not having a dick measuring contest with that nigga. <laughs> I got a big long dick, so I ain't tripping on what you did with him. He not. But fucking, that's that's. He it. can't fuck you like I'm fucking you. He not fucking you like I'm fucking you. So you can go fuck him all day. You know what you gonna come back to? That day. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear that shit. I shit. If I it, man, I ain't trying to hear that. I didn't. I ain't trying to hear that. You coming back over here to me. Ain't no nigga like me. The things I'm going to show you and teach you about life is going to make you have a great, better lifestyle. You're not going to go But sometimes nowhere. that just ain't enough for women. Okay, like what? I don't know. Like sometimes we just be searching for something different. Like what? I, like a good time. What'll make just... you cheat? What'll make you go over there and cheat? Who are making cheat? I'm saying you want me to be in my feeling. I can't get in my feeling about that, man. That's just dick, man. I'm not tripping on that shit. But what if I catch feelings, though? Like, and I'm like, really? And you about to leave me? Yeah. You want me to help you pay? Because I ain't in the convincing business. You just chose somebody else. No. So yeah. what if I want both of y'all? We could have you at the same time? No. <laughs> no. You ain't heard the song, Shoot My Shot? Yeah. But I be wrong to want to fuck you with one of my niggas. If afterwards, I promise okay, that I'm so gonna look at you different. So let's get into shoot your shot. So you, you you said fantasizing about two dicks inside of you. And without Because it ain't that like say you my woman, right? Uh-huh. And I'm giving you that dick from the back. I can't see your face. Even in the mirror, that's cool. But you know, if I'm a dicksman and my partner a dicksman and we both in this bitch busting you up, 
Like, I want to see, deep, I want to see, you know, stick your tongue out so your throat open all the way up so I can throw this bitch that's in That's some throat. wild shit. That's every woman's, I ain't going to say every, that's a lot of women's fantasy secretly, but they have a fear of being judged because niggas be judgmental and women be judgmental. They mm -hmm. just not all the way free spirited. Mm -hmm. But if you go to like other countries and shit, you know, this is. So is that considered normal. like a threesome or like a train? I don't like the word train. That's like a bunch of, when I think of train, I think a bunch of niggas just lined up coming and running through a bitch. No, I'm talking about two men that got the same respect that I have. They look at this woman like a goddess. Like you eat her ass, I'm gonna eat her pussy, big boy. We about to make this bitch come like that. Like we both loving on this bitch. You know. I'm like, speechless. You lick I don't even feet. know I'm what to say. Hey, you lick her feet. I'm about to feed her dick. Ooh. You know, like, like we about to make her tap in this bitch. Ooh. I'm speechless. I'm talking about bitch being over. Ooh. Hey, stand up on your toes. Ooh. Hey, lock your it's knees a, back. Baby, breathe through your nose. Oh, my God. That couldn't have been you on that sex tape for real. No, that wasn't me. I'm a dicksman. They ain't even give me eating no Buddha or nothing. Much I love to eat ass. I seen the video, they just had a nigga standing on that bitch and that hoe was throwing that, throwing that ass back. I looked, I said, that's a clone, that ain't me. I ain't about to get on the internet and be re refuting that. I ain't fuck all So do you like eating ass more than pussy? Yes. I like the reaction. Why? Because <laughs> cause the pussy more sensitive. Mm -hmm. So I want to eat the ass first mm -hmm. and just get you there. That's okay. like a tease, okay. but it's not. Cause it's like a holy ritual I do. I like to massage the boy. I like to kiss all. I like to lick up now the crack. I like to go to the top part. Then I want to surprise you when I, cause I got a big long ass tongue. Ooh. That okay. shit, it go deep. So I want to surprise you when I throw that bitch can in the Like now for real, can I see your tongue? When? <laughs> like right now. Like right now? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, then. Kevin, are you drunk right now? <laughs> no. I'm sober. And what was the freakiest thing you ever done? Because I, it's just like, your, your story is just so wild. So it's like, like. I ain't going to lie. I like, I like for a woman to piss in my face and let her run all in my chest. Act like you Oh, my God. Serious. You know what? That's you, why when you say it in that Kevin, song. Hold on, hold on, when hold on. When you say it in that song. What you said, I piss on that dick, I ain't gonna run, daddy. Oh yeah, you sweet had, too. I was psyched up when you said that my mind, you know, my mind started, you know, it was mind boggling, you know, I started pondering like, is she really like this in real life? <laughs> or is this for entertainment? Cause I'll be really disappointed if my, somebody that I'm a fan of wasn't really like this. But I'm sorry that I'm not sorry. Cause I love that's I love for the just when a woman just ride my face and just let it go. But it's a tactic to that though, because mm -hmm. a woman not gonna squirt if she not relaxed. Mm -hmm. That's why I like to start out with full body massage. Okay. I like I like to start with a woman feet first. Okay. I ain't about to give y'all my recipe. Yeah, because it's it's getting real good. I stir that bowl up. You start. But what? I got the, the I say I stir that bowl up, but the energy gotta be there. Do you have any like sex fantasies that you haven't done yet? Like what's your fetish? Like what's something that you haven't done that you want to do? I just went skydiving for the first time. <laughs> you want to fuck in the sky? I want to dive out the plane in the pussy. <laughs> you know what? Because when I get scared, my dick just gets, it's just a different type of hard. When I jumped out the plane for the first time, I did five black back flips. I wasn't scared. I was scared to death. And it's like, ooh, bitch, we could have died. <laughs> oh my God. When I jumped off the off this big old cliff in Jamaica, I was like, ooh, bitch, we could have died, bitch. <laughs> and I just think that'll be raw. If they got a way, I could just be her. The, you know how you be on the buddy pads? If I could just go and throw that bitch off in and we just jump out that bitch. Hell Mary. Oh, wow. I don't know. It's shot of clock today. I gotta take a shot. Well, I said, yeah. let me get a shot, please. I ain't never talk like this. Ooh, you, you know. Ooh, they gonna punish me on it. Ooh, they gonna, they gonna fuck over me. You gotta take it. Give him some. Um, no, I'm I'm naturally high. Better yet, just bring me an empty cup. I'm gonna pour some of this water. So, oh, okay, I'm sorry. So, are you currently dating? Are you single? You want me to be honest? I want you to be. I'm on my journey right now. 
and I'm really dedicated to my mission. Mm -hmm. And since I've been releasing this music, like it's been healing people. Mm -hmm. And I want to stay on my mission. Now, if something come along the journey, mm -hmm. you know that's healing to me. Because I don't know why. I just don't like the word sex. Like, why you don't like the word sex? Because it take away from the spiritual unification. Okay. You and this person are becoming one. Mm -hmm. Like, this spiritual. It's not physical. So what about one night stands then? We might have been meant. Like, a woman can heal you. Like what Marvin Gaye said, when I get this feeling, I need sexual healing. A woman is a healer. She can heal me. Mm -hmm. Heal me with your love. So that's how I look at it. We got to speak. And I, I, I speak in the terms of how it is because you Aquarius, you can speak the wrong shit into existence. Mm -hmm. I ain't speaking the wrong shit into existence. I'm speaking beautiful things into existence because I'm creating a beautiful life right now for myself. So do I believe in the one night stand? If the energy aligns, okay. but it's gonna have to really align because I swear to God, like, I'm so picky. I'm picky. You, why you picky? They punished me on, on Instagram about being out to eat with JoJo. I've been knowing her 12 years. Her daddy loved me to death. So are y'all dating? That's my best friend. Like, oh, that's your I've best been friend. knowing her forever. So like, she, her and my brother, they best friend. We went out on a, we went out to eat, and I got on, on Instagram on my live and was like, yeah, look, man, people going to drag you. Don't nobody like me. Whoop the whoop, bam, bam. It was like that. Mm -hmm. We was never dating or nothing. The internet made us be a couple. Cool. Fuck it. I ain't about to go. Because it this. was giving couple. I don't get no fuck what it's giving. I'm telling you what it is. I never asked this woman to be in a relationship or nothing. No matter what I do, that woman going to always be in my life. Like, that's my friend. She's gonna always be in my life. So and I they're like, Kevin, you with a white girl. I'm like, bitch, she's Mexican. We don't even speak English when we run each other. <laughs> Wait, how many languages you speak? Arabic and Spanish. Oh, okay. I'm mixed. What you mix with? African and Puerto Rican. Are you Puerto Rican? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought so. Anyway. So are y'all fucking? Because you was fucking your cousin, so I gave you to be fucking your best friend, too. What if I said I don't want to tell you? You got to tell me. I ain't got to tell you nothing. <laughs> well, we got to keep it all the way. Nah, but what if I said I don't want to tell you? You ain't got to tell me. That's I your ask you something. Yep. Um, from what you got in the video, was it giving that she had to be dick down? It give me that. The energy she was giving it her? It give that. Like she had been getting dick down. Mm -hmm. Or just she was just nigga was playing with her. It ain't your best friend at all. It gave like she was getting dicked down. Yeah, it gave that show. It gave that show. Spitting in her <laughs> shit, diving in her fourth quarter <laughs> pressure. That's what it was giving. It was giving all that. Well, I'ma go. With, I'm a, I'm a just. Need I thought you. that was your new love. You know, your new love. I'ma need you to trust. I'ma need you to trust your intuition. Okay. Because you're very psychic, and we just gonna go with whatever you want to give me. Period. Because I'm not saying nothing. Yep. But it was giving, I was dicking that bitch down and that bitch down. Come here. <laughs> that what it was giving, though. I'm just asking. Uh-huh. I don't go back and forth with the internet. Y'all say what y'all want to about me. Y'all say what y'all want to. I don't care. I'm out you. I see you You do your videos and you be like, you Don't know, care. You real, like, you ain't got no security. Y'all can see me when my face got the little scruffles in it. Y'all can see me whenever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I don't put on makeup to get on Instagram. Because my people, when I'm in the moment and I feel like this is something the world need to see, mm -hmm. you never know who life you might be saving when you tell your truth. Right. And when you speak truth around the wrong people, they always get offended. But these people put me to the side say, bro, I love what you Yeah, because you said that you had to, like, you know, you booked a nigga for a show. You went up in his restroom. Yeah, I used to be um, real ignorant back then because I used to take what people say serious. Mm -hmm. I keep my motherfucking name out your mouth. I know how to do it. And I had to realize that that's an ignorant way to be. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to take myself off, trick myself out. I'm letting somebody trick me off the streets. That's not cool, Kevin. I was ignorant. I was on drugs and shit then, a dummy. I thought that my respect meant that, man, bro, if a nigga play with your name, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's that. Yeah, it's, it's that. But I had to realize that, Kevin, you really been a dummy. How you gonna explain this to your daughter? Mm -hmm. You let somebody defeat you with words. With words. Yeah. Man, two, two moms will never meet, but two men always will. So, you know, if I see somebody, if I see something and it's a problem, hey, it's going to be a problem. If it's not, it's not. Like, before you started the segment, I don't want any smoke, <laughs> but I ain't turning nothing down. Okay, what? 
Okay. I love this show, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Okay, so we're going to do this or that. Well, you don't already answer the questions. You already done got out there. You because you be making me talk. Yeah. You be tricking me. Nah, I ain't tricky. Ooh, wow. I hate to be in a relationship with you, boy. You a big old interrogator. I am. I know the type of person you is. You the type of woman. You will ask one question for another answer. Mm -hmm. So you said you were with such and such, right? Because mm -hmm. you know I already know. I'm know the type you. of bitch. I'm going to call you a tribe. You know you fucked up, right? I'm like, Remember my idea on Minnesota? You know you fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. Babe, I was fucking, babe. Carisha, please. <laughs> Carisha, please. I was fucking, babe. If you, you want to leave, hey, if you want to leave, I'm gonna help you pack. You gonna have to help me pack, and I'm packing. This gonna hurt. I want the TV. This gonna hurt me. I want everything. Keep everything. Yeah. This shit gonna remind you how good I was to you. I Keep ain't everything. Gonna... Don't let them. Hey, we don't do no socializing. Don't let them hoes get in your end and tell you fucked up shit about me. Don't be over there socializing. Oh, that's what you call that. Night, at the end of the night, you know one thing, bitch. Don't nobody hold you like me. <laughs> when you hit me with that no, phone, I, ain't gonna I can't lie. wait till I get that call. Hello, who is it? What you doing? <laughs> you're so toxic. You who? so no, you're, you're toxic. So you're so no, you're toxic. fucking toxic. No. You the made you me think, be. You know what? You're so smart that you so. Fucking... How I'm telling the truth. I I'm fucked up, but I need help upgrade me. What the fuck you want me to do? Fuck, I, you act like I just grew up just, just etiquette and all this shit, man. I'm a street nigga, man. I'm doing the best I can to become better, and the world's witnessing it. You're not. The world watching me become a better person every day. I don't do the same shit I used to do. You probably gonna cut this out the interview though. No, no, I'm not. I you ain't gonna cut. make me look like a boss though. No, no, oh, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, Celebrate I'm not. me. Don't hurt me. You're toxic. What's the next question? <laughs> we gonna play this or that, but you already done answered all the questions. Oh God. Do you like head or sex? Are you a head man? Do you like head? I could be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I would accept head, but I'm kind of disappointed in head. <laughs> I'm just being honest because you know, like this. A lot of women don't really. Okay, I'm gonna before you even say that. A lot of men don't know how to give head. Y'all just what? Well, I, I can't do. just lick, 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 no. lick, lick. No, you shit. gotta suck the whole clit in your mouth. I ain't gonna do it. You gotta open. You gotta turn your mouth sideways and open that bitch up <laughs> and suck the clit and raise the hood. See, I ain't about to give you my. Leave you know, me alone. You know what? But listen though, I ain't. What's your relationship status? Because after this interview, I think the hoes gonna be in your DM. You they might have to. They already in my DM. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. But I think they might just be a little more. I don't interested. care. Interested. They could be as interested as they do want to be, but am I interested? Because I'm not about to break. I'm not about to stop getting up early in the morning for no woman to work out. That's my place of peace. I'm not about to not eat healthy for no woman because that's my place of peace. My cheat days are on Sunday. I need to take a cold shower early in the morning to wake me up and mm -hmm. reset my central nervous system. I take a hot bath. I'm in the house at 6, 7. The latest I probably go to sleep is 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. I've been up a little later doing this promo run I've been on. Mm -hmm. And you got me outside late. <laughs> on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. On Father's Day. Day. Well, happy great man day to all the fathers. But every day is great man day for mm -hmm. me. I'm a great man every day. Mm -hmm. I provide structure. I govern with power, class, and authority every day. But back to us. Is I'm not about to break that for no woman. Like, God comes first. Mm -hmm. My body, my temple, how I honor my temples, how I honor my creator. So ain't no woman about to get in the way of this. No woman. Nobody. How? Not one. If I let you, if, if I let, if I start, if I get fat, I'm going to be miserable. I'm not going to be able to love you. I'm not, if I start working out, I ain't going to be able to really give you that workout dick, that four hour straight dick. I ain't going to be able to give you that. That dick ain't going to get hard like it do. Because okay. I'm going to be on drugs and fat. You know, mm -hmm. that did get harder than Chinese arithmetic. So you ain't never had nobody that just gave you some crazy head? I have. I have. So I you, have. You she was she was she was a, a blessing. <laughs> she talking about she stick her whole tongue out and eat that whole <laughs> dick and then was different. See, cause my dick got that curve at the end, it, the curve y'all like, the one that curve up. <laughs> so a lot of people can't get over that that curve. That's why that why I told that with me in that video. So anyway, long story short. <laughs> I'm sick of you. I, I, <laughs> how, how my sister be saying, I can't with you. I can't. It's, it's, it's really you. It's, 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 it's just giving. But anyway, I done had good head. 
great, excellent head. But after I put the dick on her, she's, you know, if you go too deep, a woman will start spotting and things of that nature. You make their period come on earlier. Mm -hmm. So you off the bench, you sitting on the bench for two So you not bitch period on what you saying. Huh? You not bitch period on. Like you knock a bitch period on, that's what you saying. That's not a good thing. No, I'm asking, cause you just- When you hitting, the, when you punching down the cervix too hard, mm -hmm. it's, that's not a good thing though. Okay. That's not like, it's it's cool if you just stimulating the cervix, but you know that I'm about to punish this bitch. Bitch, you can piss me off. That's not a good thing. Like, that's not, I don't know why niggas be talking that big dick shit. That shit ain't even, that shit ain't really all it's cracked up to be. Like, so do you like nasty or classy? In which way? In what setting? Classy in public, but nasty in a dog slut in the bedroom? You, you tell me. I want a dog slut in that bedroom. You like a dog slut. But I don't want no, like, back to the head situation. I've been, I done had a lot of disappointments with head. Like why, I, what's the disappointment? Bitch trying to eat that dick all pretty. You ain't eating that dick, you sucking that dick. I don't want a bitch that eat dick. What's eating dick? I want you to stick your whole tongue out, eat that dick. Show me you suicidal, bitch. Ooh. I want to see tears come out your ass. <laughs> I want to stick my fingers in your ears like this here while you eating that dick. So I can, so you can hear, you know, when you put your fingers in your ear, you, hear your, you can hear yourself swallowing. I want you to hear yourself eating that dick. Okay. I just want that bitch. I want. I want you to show. I, don't, I shouldn't have to tell you. I want you to show me you suicidal. You trying to eat that dick all off the bone. You want a bitch to die by that dick? Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's my favorite thing to say when I just really get in my groove and I'm punching that bitch. I just be like, yes, Lord, because I wasn't. This a blessing. I ain't grew up having beautiful women and all this ass bent over in front of me. She. I ain't grow up having this. This a blessing. I pray for these type of situations to occur in my life. So when I'm hitting that ass from the back, love bug, I'm, yes, Lord. Okay, so you like eating ass. Do you like yes, to get your ass ate? No, I don't really care for that. Cause I don't even like, like below my balls and shit. I don't really, it just don't feel like good to me. Like I done had a bitch eat my balls and go like down there. Mm -hmm. And I just don't really care for that shit. It just, like, if you're going to eat that dick, eat that dick good. But I like for a bitch to, my favorite thing, I got on. Um, it's tricky. But I do like for the, because I fuck back when a woman ride my dick. Mm -hmm. And then I'm kind of flexible, so I kind of sit. Are oh, you like, flexible? Yes, ma'am. So just, just... I sit with my legs open, like almost like Indian style. But when she ride that dick, I put her feet back up over my leg. But push your clit all the way down. Why that dick in you? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna fuck back. And I just, I want her to just let that water just flow all over my stomach. That shit get me out of my mind. Okay, then. And turn me up. I can't help it. It's something about when a woman just on top of me and her titties just, and she get in her groove. You know, when they first, you know, they gotta go through their little experimental phase. But once they get, get in their groove, mm -hmm. and we breathing at the same time Oof. and shit, and she just, we in sync with one another, and it's nice emotion, mm -hmm. and she just going crazy. And I'm just looking at this bitch. I hey, open your mouth, pulling her hair out behind her thing, spitting in her mouth, you know, spitting in her face. I just love that that do something to me when she let that water loose. That do something to me. I like to suck her titties and everything while she riding that dick. Now, if I do hit her, if I do apply pressure, I don't really like that hit her from the back. I got this utterly position I do. Mm -hmm. It's kind of from the back, but it's kind of not. It's kind of like from the side? But I ain't on my side. That's that wake up. That's that lazy six. I don't like to lay down. Where you learn all this from? Like where you get all this? A woman. Okay. An older woman taught me all of this. Okay. Who is that woman? I don't know. <laughs> I was like 16, she like 35. <laughs> How you met her? I was standing up on my block at Friend Street and she was coming through the drive through in McDonald's. Uh, I've been nasty though. Uh-huh. Like at 16? Huh? You said at 16? Yeah. You was, was nasty at 16? Yeah, I've been nasty because I used to, you know, I used to sneak and watch porn and mm -hmm. all that old shit. And that was my first time being with an older woman. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm really so into older women. Like, okay. I don't want no woman my, like my age because you don't have that maturity that's going to have me like, ooh, bitch. 
Mm-hmm. I like an older woman. Like, this bitch just look mean. Just, I love pretty, beautiful women that just look mean. Them the ones I want to talk to. Mm-hmm. How you doing? I'm Marcellus. Like I tell, well, my first name Marcellus. So I tell them, my name Marcellus, Kevin Gates. I tell them, how you doing? I'm Marcellus. Mm-hmm. And just talk to them. Mm-hmm. And they just be different. But yeah, she taught me all of this. She taught me how to eat that pussy <laughs> the right way. But every woman pussy is different. You know, I experiment a little bit. I kiss around it and see her body going to let me know what she's sensitive to. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me your spots. I'm going to find it. We mm-hmm. about to play treasure hunt. You like a sex god. Oh, I love you. You know, <laughs> I ain't, this you the first. I, I love this show. Hey, you know everybody tell me that? You look like a sex guy. Everybody guide. tell me that. Mm. I don't even, I can't, see, that's why I, I like to bathe a woman before I even deal with her, because see, when you- Oh, you my, like to put her in the tub and yeah, bathe her, Yeah, when you okay. my kind of clean, your body Do relax. you put like baby oil in? That, that causes infections. Oh, okay. You don't post, that don't post to enter your vaginal. So how you bathe her? What you bathe her with? Sea salt. <laughs> Eucalyptus oil. If I, it, you know, it's it's all kind of different like, holistic things that you could bathe the woman with. What the fuck? <laughs> baby oil. No, I'm just saying. I'm saying oil in general. Baby you oil? You say you like... Um, coconut oil? Yeah, coconut if oil. If you can't eat it, it doesn't belong in your body. Okay. Coconut oil is a natural antibacterial. You can rub it around a cut or anything, and it's healing to the body. That's like from... Like, you know that... Just, I don't know if you in the anal, but you go on a woman ass... You don't prep this woman anally before you go in her. Mm-hmm. You know, like you could rip her rectum. Mm-hmm. Fecal matter not supposed to get in no cut. Like a lot of people don't know that you can cause a woman to have an infection. Like yeah, that. I'm not like a anal girl. Yeah, you know that ain't. Yeah, kind of not my thing. Mm-mm, I want that pussy to make it squeeze. So you like? What, would you prefer like wet or tight pussy? Why it can't be both? No, but you, because some people ain't got both. Why they don't? I heard men like that talk about it, like, you know, she, yeah, she would. It ain't that, it ain't, I don't say women don't have tight pussy. Yeah, it's relaxed. Mm-hmm. It's a muscle. They haven't been working their kegel. But when a woman leave from around me, they pussy gonna be tight as a bitch. Cause I'm gonna tell you, squeeze that pussy, but why I give it to you slow. Okay, sex guy. Nah, squeeze it. And the more you squeeze it, what happened? The more you work your muscle, what happened? It gets stronger. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, she done left me with a whole vice grip. <laughs> but I had to teach you all that shit. But come here, I'm about to teach you some shit. You know, that's just my thing. You like a sex doctor, sex no, I ain't guy. No, sex doctor, nothing. I'm experienced. I know what I like. And I got to have a good dick report every time. Like, if I know I'm not in the mood to do, to do this, I'm not doing it. Because I'm not about to have a bad dick report in these white people's streets. <laughs> This is a brand name, and I stand behind it. <laughs> I, I love this. I can't song. believe I'm doing this interview. Oh, God. They going to tell my ass up. They been doing it, though. No, we, we, we love an honest man. Mm, and you he, about to punish me. And you was very honest. And I'm so thankful, and I'm so glad no, that you came. I'm thankful that you had me, because this was fun for me, because you asked me questions that people don't ever ask me. Mm-hmm. You know, they be so scared to ask me certain questions, but... It was beautiful for me because people got to see like another side of me and my personality. It was intelligent. It mm-hmm. was fun parts. It was emotional parts. Mm-hmm. It was very sexual. I don't know. You tricked me. No, I appreciate you being thank honest. You for Thanks for coming on, Carisha, please. Thank you for having me. Carisha, Period. please. Y'all watch it. Carisha, please. I'm Revop. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. 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 Your bag, stay in your Turn the frequency up. Are we off the grave? She don't want you. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. She don't want you. Get in your bag, stay in your bag. She don't want my love. I guess I gotta move on. Hey, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, but she don't want my love. I gotta move on Oh yeah Oh no nah. She don't want my love I'm guessing I gotta move on I guess, I guess, I guess I can't 
seem a little too strong, I guess She don't want my love, I guess I gotta move on, I guess I Try to give it all to you, baby Brand new Mercedes, a newborn baby, yeah And I told you you love too lazy, damn All you had to do was love me, baby uh, And that gets so frustrating, yeah Why you wanna go and test me, baby, yeah You grade me and tell me I'm failing, yeah Keep telling me things like you Done trying with me, done fighting with me, yeah Gave you a ring that was going off the deep end, yeah On daily on my drain for the weekend Sent you some things, yeah, when I was done drinking Like, girl, he with you for the wrong reason Cause you was with me, uh, tell them stop reaching That's that's jealous of me I'm salty, I need it, my wounds keep bleeding You found a new man, so I gotta move